Lizards are a widespread group of squamate reptiles, with over 6,000 species, ranging across all continents except Antarctica, as well as most oceanic island chains. Lizards make use of a variety of anti-predator adaptations, including venom, camouflage, reflex bleeding, and the ability to sacrifice and regrow their tails. They make use of their senses of sight, touch, olfaction and hearing like other vertebrates. The majority of lizard species are active during the day, though some are active at night. Some known lizard species Mexican beaded lizard Mexican beaded lizard is one of the two species venomous beaded lizards found principally in Mexico and southern Guatemala. Mexican beaded lizard and the Gila monster are the only lizards known to have evolved an overt venom delivery system. However, this venom has been found to contain several enzymes useful for manufacturing drugs in the treatment of diabetes, and research on the pharmacological use of its venom is ongoing. Carolina anoli Anolis carolinensis is an arboreal anoli lizard native to the southeastern United States and introduced elsewhere. Other common names include the green anoli, American green anoli, and red-throated anoli. It is also sometimes referred to as the American chameleon, typically in the pet trade due to its ability to change color from several brown hues to bright green. Chameleons lizards Chameleons or chameleons are a distinctive and highly specialized clade of Old World lizards with 202 species described as of June 2015. These species come in a range of colors, and many species have the ability to change color. Chameleons are adapted for climbing and visual hunting. They live in warm habitats that range from rainforest to desert conditions, with various species occurring in Africa, Madagascar, Southern Europe, Southern Asia and Sri Lanka. They also have been introduced to Hawaii, California, and Florida, and often are kept as household pets. Chuckwallers lizards Chuckwallers are large lizards found primarily in arid regions of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. Some are found on coastal islands. Chuckwallers are diurnal animals and as they are ectothermic, spend much of their mornings and winter days basking. These lizards are well adapted to desert conditions, they are active at temperatures up to 39 degrees Celsius. Common Basilisk Lizard The common basilisk lizard is a species endemic to Central America and South America, where it is found near rivers and streams in rainforests. It is also known as the Jesus Christ Lizard, or South American Jesus Lizard, or Legato de Jesus Cristo for its ability to run on the surface of water. Desert Iguana Desert iguana is one of the most common lizards of the Sonoran and Mojave deserts of the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico. They also occur on several Gulf of California islands. Their color is mostly gray and tan. Desert iguanas are primarily herbivorous, eating buds, fruits and leaves of many annual and perennial plants. They are especially attracted to the yellow flowers of the creosote bush. Predators of these iguanas and their eggs are birds of prey, foxes, rats, long-tailed weasels, some snakes, and humans. Frilled Neck Lizard The frilled neck lizard is found mainly in the northern regions of Australia and southern New Guinea. The lizard on rare occasions is found in the lower desert regions of Australia but primarily inhabits humid climates such as those in the tropical savanna woodlands. They are arboreal lizard, meaning it spends a majority of its time in the trees. The lizard ventures to the floor only in search of food, or to engage in territorial conflicts. The frill-necked lizard is a relatively large lizard, averaging 85 cm in total length, including tail, and is kept as an exotic pet. The Marine Iguana The marine iguana also known as saltwater iguana, or Galapagos marine iguana, is a species found only on the Galapagos Islands of Ecuador, that has the ability, unique among modern lizards, to forage in the sea, making it a marine reptile. This iguana feeds almost exclusively on algae, and large males dive to find this food source, while females and smaller males feed during low tide in the intertidal zone. They mainly live in colonies on rocky shores where they warm after visiting the relatively cold water, but can also be seen in marshes, mangrove and beaches. This protected species is considered threatened, primarily from El Niño cycles, introduced predators and chance events like oil spills. <laughs>